So today we have the Maruti Suzuki Wagoner with us. Yes, this is the same brand new Wagoner or the new generation Wagoner that was launched in 2019. But then why do we have it today with us? We are going to try and crack the code or rather decode why this hatchback is India's number one vehicle. As a matter of fact, in the beginning of this financial year, the first four months, this was number one. And the latter three months, it took the runners up position. So it definitely is a runaway success. We're going to find out why it is so. And a little trivia, early 2000 or rather late 2000 and early 2001, Maruti Suzuki used to call the original Wagoner NAV. That's multi-activity vehicle. Anyways, now let's get back to the current Wagoner and why it is the number one vehicle in India. The USP of the Wagoner has always been the tall boy design and we have seen so many other rival cars come and go but the Wagoner has stood the test of time. And while it has been here for two decades, it has evolved as well. The design or maybe just my mindset, I don't think so because if you look at the car as such, it has a lot more curves. The bonnet as such is not as sharp as it used to be and it's a little bit more shorter. So what is the advantage of the short bonnet? Well, if you're behind the steering wheel, well, the view is a lot more clearer and you don't have any blockades or blind spots. That is the advantage. Anyways, now coming back to the design, well, it has improved, it has evolved, but this is the dual tone special Wagoner. And you can see that it has a black floating roof. The pillars, the A, B and C pillars are all black. The ORVMs are all black. And the thing is, if you take a closer look, these 14 inch wheels are actually alloys and not hubcaps. So maybe you can see that Maruti has added a bit of a spunk to the Wagoner. So practicality is the name of the game in this segment and Wagoner has plenty of that. What are we talking about? We're talking about the luggage space of course. And you know, it has so many different, different practical aspects that we want to show you first rather than talk about it. Let me open the lid first. Now, come and take a closer look at the boot capacity and I'll tell you exactly what we are talking about. So, the capacity itself is 341 litres, that's quite a bit in this segment. But the USP here is that it is very deep. So, you can actually stack a lot more luggage and they can just stand right here as well. And you can take a look, there's so much space. So that is why it is one of the most practical hatchbacks in this segment. So now that we are inside the car, let's talk about again the biggest advantage this car has and that is its design. And the design is squarish and because of that, there's a lot of space in the car and the visibility again is something that no other car can match. Either you are behind the steering wheel or you're sitting in the front or the rear passenger seats. There is just so much space and airiness that you feel. Now, talking about the space, the Wagoner always was a fairly longish vehicle, but it wasn't that wide. So, in this case, the new generation or the current generation is a bit more wider. So, you can actually have five adults sitting here and in a very comfortable position as well. Now, otherwise, as a whole, the Wagoner still continues to be a very spacious place. Now, you have better shoulder room. Headroom is like the best in the segment. It could also be better than a couple of segments above it. Now coming to the features that the Wagoner offers, well, it comes with a seven inch infotainment system. The touch capacity is fairly intuitive, but yeah, every time you press a button, it has an annoying noise, but yeah, you get used to it, you live with it. That's not an issue. Apart from that, yes, it comes with the usual suspects. It comes with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and of course, Bluetooth, all the various connectivity options are there. It also comes with a smartphone app uh, via Maruti. You've got to download that. That also offers additional uh, features. 
Now Wagner also comes with a steering mounted control so you can control the infotainment system and also answer or decline calls. It also has a voice uh, assisted uh, control. So again, these are little, little things, but they do make life a little bit more simpler. In terms of safety, it comes with uh, dual airbags, ABS, EBD, you name it. It has all the basic uh, safety features. Uh, in terms of the AMT, the one that we are driving, it also comes standard with hill hold assist. So it is a fairly packed and a safe car. And let's not forget, because it is based on the hard tech platform, it is agile, it is lighter, which we'll talk about it, but it is also a lot more safer car. Finally, we are driving the Wagoner 1.2 liter. Now, this churns out around uh, 88.5 bhp, while uh, the 1. Point liter, the workhorse version, is just over 65 bhp. So, let's first talk about uh, the 1.2 liter one, the one we are driving. We're going to use some words that usually is not associated to a Wagoner, and this engine is peppy. It's responsive it's actually like a Duracell bunny that offers plenty of power it uh, just doesn't you know the power doesn't die out in any you know uh, talk band uh, maybe uh, in the lower uh, band or the mid band mid-range band uh, it's it's very very uh, responsive and uh, the version that we are driving is the AMT version so it's a five-step uh, AMT transmission so like a typical AMT it uh, up uh, up shifts quite quickly within uh, 1500 rpm it'll quickly quickly upshift and the reason for that is that it remains fuel efficient and that's the reason why Maruti claims that uh, the AMT transmission promises somewhere in the region of 24 kilometer per liter now we have been driving uh, this vehicle for over a week now and uh, in real world conditions it's actually uh, returning around 19 to 20 kilometer per liter and this is only in the city with the AC on so that is very very impressive again when you look at the sort of uh, customer who is buying this car well it fits the bill because it offers uh, effortless uh, driving experience it has more than enough power, it feels very quick and uh, what more does one need and it's fuel efficient at the same time. So I think uh, Maruti Suzuki have got this version spot on and in case let's say you want to uh, drive with a bit more involving experience, well the Wagoner AMT uh, also offers uh, the manual shifting uh, option as well so and that is actually quite involving and uh, it is very makes the engine a lot more responsive so you actually use all the horses that are available in the engine so coming back to the one liter it is a workhorse engine and uh, the main idea of about this engine is that it offers an easy driving experience for the buyers to move from one place or one destination to another in a very uh, hassle-free manner and that's exactly what it does again uh, because uh, it is uh, a one liter uh, Maruti has ensured that it is slightly more fuel efficient so the 1.2 uh, liter uh, according to Maruti returns around uh, 23 to 24 kilometers per liter that I'm including both the five uh, gear transmission the manual version as well as the AMT and in case of and in the case of the one liter then uh, both the again the five uh, speed manual transmission and the AMT offer one kilometer per liter more so it is around 24 to 25 kilometers per liter now these are really exceptional uh, figures and knowing Maruti they do uh, achieve somewhere near that figure so again these are very very fuel efficient cars apart from that 
another huge trump card that maruti has is that these engines are extremely refined extremely smooth so in terms of having a fuel efficient car in terms of having more than enough power and that is in case of the 1.2 liter and if you are looking at a hassle free driving experience then the amt comes in as well so the wagonr actually offers plenty of options different engine options different transmission options so it caters to whatever your needs are whatever your requirements are you really can't go wrong with it so we have the dual tone top of the line amt version which is powered by a 1.2 liter engine and it costs 7.08 lakhs ex showroom delhi now as we said earlier it is available in two variants the engine variants 1 liter and 1.2 now the 1 liter amt starts from around 6.14 lakhs and the uh, entry level 1.2 liter amt starts from around 6 and a half lakhs so what this means is that the wagon is spacious it is reliable it is fuel efficient and if you opt for the 1.2 liter well it's powerful and if you again opt for an amt then it is convenient but to top it all it is backed with india's most extensive and widest network ever so you really can't go wrong so if you're in the market for an affordable and all the other things that i mentioned hatchback well you really can't go beyond the wagon up so if you haven't already subscribed our channel please do so do let us know what you think of the wagon up or about the hatchback segments as such